Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the best money methods you should be doing this week in GTA 5 Online to earn yourself millions and millions of dollars very easily. So in total, I'm going to be showing you six different money methods all in this one video. That being said, if you're going to enjoy, don't forget to go down below and drop a like on the video for me. But now let's get into the very first money method. All right, so the first money method we are going to be doing is going to be involving the bunker because because this week the bunker cell missions are paying double money and double RP. So to get things started, first of all, enter inside the bunker and then go over here to your computer and then simply sign into it. Once you are assigned into the computer, now what you need to do is click here where it says manage staff and make sure you assign your staff to manufacturing and manufacturing only. This is basically just going to make sure that our stock level actually goes up really fast. After that, go over here to where it says resupply and you'll see you can actually steal supplies or buy supplies. But trust me, do not steal supplies the only option you want to do is buy supplies. The reason you only want to buy supplies is simply because once you spend that $60,000, all you then have to do is wait 10 minutes and after that 10 minutes you'll be delivered a full set of supplies to your bunker. And then from here, basically just make sure that you are in a GTA 5 online session. And as long as you are in a GTA 5 online session and your supply level is somewhat full like mine is here, your stock is going to be rising slowly. And yeah, that is basically how you run the bunker business if you want to make the most possible money with it. And I know it is really easy, but just keep in mind the only thing that you need to do is make sure that the supply level is always at least somewhat full. Because of course, if the supply level is not somewhat full, your stock is not going to be rising. So what I would do is every single time that your supply level starts to get low, immediately go over to the bunker and then buy some more supplies. Anyway, once your stock is completely full like mine is here, or whenever you are ready to sell, simply go up to the computer, sign into it and then once you sign in click here where it says sell stock and once you click sell stock you want to make sure that you only sell it to Los Santos because as you can see Los Santos gives you the most possible money when doing the sell mission. Also when doing these sell missions I do recommend having at least one friend. If you can get two friends that is going to be even better. Luckily, as you can see, the cell mission that I got right now was a really easy one. It was only three different monster trucks that we had to deliver each to five different locations. And that's basically how all of the cell missions work for the bunker. You're literally getting multiple different cell vehicles and delivering them to different locations around the map. Anyway, here is where the big money can come in. And that is only if you sell it in a public session with over 20 people in it. Because selling it in a public session with over 20 people in it can give you a 2.5% money bonus for every single player in the session up to 20 players. And if you were to do the math, 2.5% of $2.6 million times 20 is going to be a lot of money that we are going to be getting extra just by simply selling it in a public session with over 20 people in it. And here is exactly how much money I got paid once I finished selling my stock in a public session with over 20 people in it. As you can see, $3.1 million. Keep in mind, I was originally only supposed to get $2.6 million, but I did get an extra $500,000 from that money bonus. And that is why I said I recommend selling it in a public session but if you still don't want to sell it in a public session you can always simply sell it in an invite only session and walk away with 2.6 million dollars still. But yeah, the bunker cell missions, paying double money and double RP is something you definitely don't want to sleep on this week because it is only going to be paying this much this week. Anyway, if you also would like to see a full guide going fully over the bunker business, I'll leave a link down below in the description or you can also click the top right corner of your screen right now. Getting into the second money method, I am now going to be showing you how to earn $254,000 in only 4 minutes. If you want to do this, simply open up your pause menu and then head over to this exact location over here at the terminal where this week's HSW time trial is located at. Once you get over here, call out your fastest HSW vehicle that you own, get inside of it, and then drive it on top of the time trial. Now click right d-pad, but stay still and open up the pause menu. Now go all the way up here on the map where the checkpoint is located at, and then simply mark it. Once you've marked it, drop the pause menu, and then open up the phone, click where it says job list, and then exit out of the time trial just like so. From here, whenever you are ready, click right d-pad to start the time trial, and immediately follow exactly where the waypoint is showing you. Luckily, Luckily, this week's HSW time trial is actually not too difficult. The only difficult part is once you get to the canyon part. Once you are at the canyon, make sure that you take your time and are not going too fast. Because if you are going too fast during the canyon part, you can possibly really mess up there. So just be very careful. But anyway, as long as you did not mess up too bad, you should have been able to beat the time trial. And here's exactly how much money you get once you beat it. As I said, $254,000. 
which if you ask me, I think is very good for only four minutes of simply driving over to a destination. Make sure you definitely do it this week. Okay, so getting into the third money method now, we are going to be doing the ammunition deliveries inside the bunker because they are paying double money and double RP this week. To get things started, first of all, enter inside the bunker and then go up to this ammunition icon inside the bunker, which is going to be this truck here. Once you walk up to the truck, you'll see it gives you an option to click right D-pad to deliver the excess weapon parts over to the ammunition store. So from here, click right D-pad to do that. After that, all you need to do is simply deliver this truck over to a random ammunition store around the map. As you can see right here, my ammunition store that I need to deliver mine to is not far whatsoever. It is only 1.7 miles away. And then once you arrive over at the ammunition store, all you then need to do is deliver the truck inside the yellow circle. And after that, you'll be receiving $100,000 for doing so. As you can see, there is my $100,000, which is very easy. It literally only took me under five minutes to deliver this truck. Just keep in mind though, you can only do these once every 45 minutes. That is how long it takes these trucks to respawn inside the bunker. All right, now getting into the fourth money method, I'm going to be showing you how to earn $101,000 under one minute. Yes, under one minute. If you want to do this, simply open up the pause menu and head over to this exact location on the map here in Tongva Valley where this week's regular time trial is located at. Once you get over here, call out your fastest motorcycle that you own, get on top of it, and then drive it on top of the time trial. From here, click right D-pad, but simply stay still and open up the pause menu. Go all the way down here to where the checkpoint is at and then mark it. Once you've marked it, drop the pause menu, open up the phone, click where it says job list and then exit out of the time trial just like so. From here, when you're ready, click right D-pad to start the time trial and immediately hold your gas button all the way down and also your left joystick all the way up the entire way through. Once you get to this point here, it's going to tell you to take a left, but do not take a left. Keep going forward all the way until you get to this street here and then take a left. Once you take a left on this street, all you then need to do is basically follow the waypoint all the way straight through. And as long as you followed that waypoint all the way through and you did not crash, here is exactly how much money you get paid. As I said, $101,000 dollars for only 57 seconds of simply driving over to a destination. And now for the very last money method, I'm now going to be showing you not really a money method, but how to get a free $100,000 very easily. To do this, open up the interaction menu and go over to where it says challenges and click where it says weekly challenge. As you'll see, all you have to do is complete three different bunker research missions, which is really easy to do. All you want to do is go over to the computer inside of the bunker and then simply sign into it. Once you sign into it, click where it says manage staff and make sure you assign your staff to either research or to both. But as you can see right here, I cannot assign my staff to either the research or both and that is only because I've already completed literally every single one of the research progress upgrades. So that is the only reason I cannot show you how to do it right now. And now that we set it to either research or both, that is going to make sure that the research bar actually starts to go up. And as soon as you see that research bar go up, that is when we can fast track or either wait for the bar to go all the way up to finish the research. And then once you have paid for the fast track or just waited for the bar of the research progress bar to go all the way up, that is when you finished one out of the three research progress missions. All you need to do is two more of those and then after that you'll receive a free $100,000. Anyway, that is now going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all did want to enjoy. If you did and you still haven't already, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on the video. And of course, if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But yeah, until next time, I will see you all in my very next GTA 5 Online video. Peace.